Hello, 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 and welcome to this edition of Pep Talks. Now, I really want to throw an Easter challenge to you. I just came back from a graduation. Uh, the, this has been a season of graduations in Ghana, so maybe that doesn't come as a surprise, but this was a very special graduation. About five years ago, five, six years ago, yeah, no, about, about five, six years ago, yes. We had, as a family, a young lady come to us as a house help. Now, as we interacted with her and we saw her diligence and her smartness and her humility and her uh, not bad, you know, senior secondary grades that could be improved, we decided to invest in her. My wife and I, my, my parents-in-law, the whole family back here. And long story short, that's the graduation we went for today. She's a nurse. Benedicta is a nurse today. She graduated today from the Nurses and Midwives Training College in Teshi in Accra, in Ghana. From house help to nurse. And that's what brings me to the Easter challenge. Because at Easter, we see the ultimate leader, God himself, laid down his life for the people he saw value in. Everybody knows John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life and will not perish. But what a lot of people don't realize is that that verse is basically saying, for God so loved the world, for God so, God so saw value in you and me that he gave himself because God is one, Father, Son, Spirit. He gave himself. And that's what Paul talks about later in the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 2, when he says, Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who though being the same as God, did not count equality with the Father something to hold on to, but laid it down, made himself nothing, taking on the form of a human. And being found as a human, you know, he could have gone around being a very proud human. No, being found as a human, he humbled himself and became obedient. Obedient to God, obedient even to death. He could have said, hey, I'm God, what are you talking about? I'm not good. No. And because of that, today, God has given him a place. The Father has given him, given him a place that is greater than any other place. He's got a name that is greater than any other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee bows, every tongue confesses. Even those who are doing, not doing it now will one day. What's the Easter challenge? As a leader, I want to challenge you. Choose one person. Choose one thing to do this Easter by laying down your preference, laying down your time, laying down your money, sacrifice something, die a little so that someone can live, someone can graduate, someone can have a better life. May I challenge you to do that? Because that is the essence of the ultimate leader. Leadership is not about us. It's about those who take inspiration from us, those who follow us, those who learn from us, those around us. It's sad when we see so many places in the world, you know, so many governments, especially in places in Africa, and, and unfortunately, even in the church, where pastors are doing well and there are congregants who are not doing well at all. Sometimes literally be fleeced. That's not leadership. That's certain not servant leadership. Leadership is laying down our lives, laying down our gifts so that others will be blessed. It is going down to pick the downtrodden and lifting them up. One quote I really love. And my friend, Amos Kevin Annan, happened to just send it to me today. And I said to him, Kevin, that's a great quote because that's exactly the way I'm feeling this afternoon that Benedicta has graduated. It's a quote from Cecilia Chan. It says, instead of laying a red carpet for yourself and walking on it, why don't you lay down yourself as a bridge so that others, especially young people, can walk over you, on you, into a great future. This is my Easter challenge for you. 
lay down yourself for someone else's uplifting. God bless you as you lead like Jesus. Jesus.